Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a super quick and simple video showcasing my settings. A lot of people ask me pretty much every day in stream and trying to find out what my settings are looking like. And now I'm just going to make a video on it so you guys can see it at all times basically. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. I do want to make clear really quick that I do... I think you should go try and get your own settings. These are my settings. This is my setting. I have a customized control as well. So my settings might work for me and it might not work for you. Again, you should always try explore and find your own settings. Because in the end of the day, it's all personal preference. And just because I might play on the 20 sensitivity, that doesn't mean that you should play on it or you can play on that too. Um, but I just want to point that out real quick because a lot of people in general seem to be copy pasting everything. And I don't, I don't like the idea of that. You have to explore yourself and find your own settings and find your own like personal preference really um but yeah let's just get right into it i play on the controller and pc as you guys can see here which is why i have all these extra tabs keyboard and mouse graphics and all that stuff we're just going to skip right to the controller tab so you guys can see my my actual settings so i'm playing on the 8 day sensitivity um and i train that quite a lot based on my gun based on what i'm playing and just yeah what i'm using in general if I'm feeling it, I might up it to like 9. If I'm having a bad day, am I missing all my shots? I might lower it to 7. It, it might, but like right now, 8 is my main sensitivity. And I've been playing with this for some time now. Um, my low zoom sensitivity, like my red gun sensitivity, is, or ADS sensitivity, is 0.75. And I've basically been playing 0.75 ever since they added the option in Black Ops 4. Um, and I don't know, I just like it. And again, personal preference. And the same with the highest one for snipers, it is 1.25. Um, so it's a bit higher, way higher than the, the lotion one. Button layout, I play tactical. Basically what tactical does is it switches around the melee button and the crouch button. So now that I'm proning, I've been playing this literally ever since Modern Warfare 3. It's almost been 10 years with that button layout. Basically what it does is that I will be crouching on my thumbstick, my right thumbstick, I just have to press it down. Which means that I don't have to move my thumb away from my thumbstick every time I have to crouch or, or drop shot. Um, and that really helps a lot in fights because again, you, if you can do that, you can get to a point where you can do all those mechanics or like jump and stuff like that. Without having to move your thumbstick, you are in an advantage in quite a bit of fights because you're able to do stuff that other people aren't. If you have to move your thumbstick away and... and basically prone on circle well then you can't aim at the same time and that's basically the problem with this um and i think pretty much the rest i play with my control vibration off um i have i've had it off for many years now it is way better without in my opinion um but again personal preference um and the rest of it pretty much just default stuff i haven't touched any of it i feel like most of this is mainly um that is mainly for war zone when it's going to come out so i haven't touched any of it um, then we have my death zone, which is, again, you gotta explore yourself, it kinda comes down to your controller. You wanna put, play with the lowest death zone as possible, I've set mine to 5 minimum and 99 max. Basically what the death zone is, is it's the sensitivity of your thumbstick, like how much you have to move your thumbstick for it to move in game. And if you play on it, or like if you have a too low of a death zone, it might move by itself, and that's not what you want. So you need to find a sweet spot. You can always test in the private mats and see how far down you can go without just moving by itself. Um, for me, it's 5. I've been playing on 5 for uh, some time now. That was pretty much what I had in Modern Warfare as well. And I just trained right over to Cold War, basically. Um, and then again, we have a lot of default settings that I haven't touched at all. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's only one here. I usually play tab to reload whenever I play multiplayer, but if I'm playing Warzone, it's not out yet. But every time I do play Warzone, we have the contextual tab option in Modern Warfare. And basically, it's going to be, I'm going to be playing with prioritized reload um, whenever Warzone comes out in Cold War. Um, but for multiplayer, it's always tap to reload. And that's basically because when you have even prioritized reload or tap to interact, it is so much faster looting crates and picking up stuff from the ground. Um, but in multiplayer, you don't need to loot or anything. The only thing that can happen in multiplayer, if you're trying to reload, you're going to pick up a gun. And you don't want that much of the time. That's kind of annoying. And that's why I have it on tap to reload here. And then tap to interact for Warzone or prioritize reload. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is my settings. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more updates for my settings in the future, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Peace out.